Hey guys, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of questions and confusion about uh, Alive and how it works, and so I'm going to do a couple, I, I think, updated tutorials, because some of the ones that I've found on YouTube and some of the stuff I read about is a little bit dated. Uh, so this one I'm going to start with uh, one of the questions I see most, which is about the, the Orbat editor, the Orbitron. So I'm going to start by saying, uh, you'll notice in the enabled mods, uh, I don't really have a lot. I've got uh, I've got Cup, and I've got uh, R a part of RHS. Um, when you're making updated factions or new factions, I would really suggest that you minimize the number of mods that you have running just while you do that, because it'll really cut down on potential problems you have with mod dependency. So this is going to be a pretty short video. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination a coder, or a you know professional modder or anything like that. I, I actually stumbled into a live uh, a month or two ago, and I have just been having the most phenomenal time with it. And you know it can be a little challenging to figure out. And I think part of that is just you know some of the documentation again is a little bit dated. So let me just jump in here. So I'm going to assume that you know anyone watching this has been you know. Uh, playing Arma and in the Edward for you know more than two and a half seconds, so I, I don't have to you know, do a a real basic basic explanation. So over here in our assets we have our live modules, right? So we're gonna take our Orbat creator, we're just gonna drop it right there, and we're just gonna drop whoever, it doesn't matter. Alright. So we're gonna load this up. Da 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 yeah, I know. It's always a scripting error. Okay, so now we're in our Alive Orbitron, and it really is a really, really powerful tool for, for doing well, whatever it is you want to do. So let's say that we're going to create a new faction. Okay, it's going to be a blue four faction. You can change flags, and you know, obviously you get more, more flag options if you have different mods in, but again, that that uh, creates mod dependencies, and uh, it's kind of up to you on, on how you want to do that. So let's just, we'll make it real simple. Display name, uh, call it JSOC. Country, United States, Armed Force. Well, it's really a joint force. Oh, generate class name. So you can really name it whatever you want. Uh, I mean, in the interest of organization, because I'm a little OCD with stuff like this, this is blue four, we'll call it B underscore JSOC. Okay, so now we have our new faction, right? Now you'll see in here, Alive Compatible Groups, there's nothing there yet, because we don't have any groups in there yet. We just have the framework for creating that. Okay, so first, we're going to go into the group editor. So let's open that. All right, over here on the right side, you'll see the groups that Alive recognizes. Right, anything outside of this, it's not going to know what the hell to do with. So the nice thing with creating your own faction or going in and messing with RHS or CUP or something, if there's something in there that, that you want to tweak, you, you can. If there's something in there that, that isn't organized properly, you can go in and figure out what's wrong with it. And that, I'll do that in a separate video. So let's keep this simple. All right, so special forces, right? It's j -Socks. Joint Special Operations Command. So we're going to call it, uh, oh, sorry, I went too far ahead. All right, so groups. So we're going to create our new group, right? Because we don't have anything in here. We just have the framework for a new faction. When we say faction, we're referring to organizational groups within the Eden editor. So we'll go to new. So what is this group going to be called? We'll just call it a... a JSOC group. Okay, so let's call it B underscore JSOC group. Uh, as far as I know, the class name doesn't really matter. If you want to automatically do it, you can come up with these really elaborate things. I, you know, again, I'm a little OCD on this stuff, so. Okay, you know, if you, you know, want to change icons, you can do that too. Okay, so we have our group, but we don't have anything in our group, right? Nothing. We don't have any assets because it's a brand new faction. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a blank thing here. And you could do that, or you can go up to the unit editor. It, it doesn't really matter. 
so now we have nothing here. We have something, but we don't have anything. So let's go into the unit editor. All right, so we're going to make a brand new unit for this faction. Now, you cannot just create a unit from scratch. There has to be an existing unit for you to draw from. So we'll just call it JSOC operator, B JSOC operator. Okay. So this is what's going to appear in Eden once we're all done. Now, this is the important part, and I think, where a lot of people get lost. We need to draw a unit from another faction, an existing faction with an existing unit. So let's go, uh, I think this is, yeah, OK. All right, so these are the, the cup units, right? I think, pretty sure. So we're going to go into the Special Forces tab. It doesn't really matter. You could do literally any one of these. It doesn't matter as long as it's the same type of unit, not a vehicle. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a UAV operator or a pilot or what have you, because this is going to override that. So you could put a pilot in and then just go into the arsenal, do your loadout, and I'll show you that in just a second. And you'll have no way to know that it was a pilot when you when you brought it in but just for keep it easy let's go in okay so we're going to take a special forces team leader from the cup faction that i have enabled the, the mod enabled boom done there he is there's our custom unit our jsoc operator okay so if we want to go into the loadout it'll bring up the arsenal Right, you guys all know how to use the arsenal. Okay, he's fine. Oops. So it'll do that occasionally where you lose the screen. Just hit escape. You'll go back out to wherever you are. Hit the uh, the right, not the Windows key on the left, but the other one on the right. I just forget that, what the hell that's called. It brings up the thing to bring up your live menu, and just go back into it. So we're gonna go back into our group editor. Okay, here's our JSOC operator, all right? All right, so here's our guy, right? And you can do this for any of these groups, obviously. You can spend hours and hours and hours playing G.I. Joe in the 21st century. So we're gonna add that to our selected group. You can give him a rank. That's our captain, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is done. So we can actually take this and export it to a faction, come back into the mods. I'll show you how to bind everything into a PBO. And when we come back into Eden, it should be a fresh faction for our JSOC operator. All right, so now we have our JSOC faction. We have our, our group in here already. Right? So now we need to export this. So we've got a lot of options in here, and, and I'll go through everything in a, in a subsequent video, but let's just keep it simple. So we're going to take our full faction, right? Export full faction. Boom. Config data copied to clipboard. So we're just going to go into a uh, go word here. Could be Word, Notepad, Word. It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. So we're going to paste that in there. So now, I'm going to open another window. We're going to export CFG patches, this option at the bottom here. Boom. Config data copied. We're going to paste that. OK. All right, so this step is important. And I kind of glossed over it the first couple times I did this and couldn't figure out why the hell it wasn't working. So. Uh, and I will put the link. I mean, you can see it up here in the URL bar, but I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description. So download the add-on template from a live GitHub here. Okay, so this is GitHub, uh, which I have recently learned is kind of cool. So AutoGen tool for Orbat. So we're going to download that. Right. I already have it open down here. All right. So it's just a RAR file. Unzip that bad boy. You're going to see a folder in here called test mod. Okay, 
So let's open that up. Add-ons. Boom. Test. Jesus. Okay. So keep all of these files together. You will need them all. Now, some of this stuff should look kind of familiar. So what we're going to do, first we're going to go into Autogen. Autogen is where the faction information that you copied goes and CFG patches. Well, that's where the CFG patches stuff is going to go. So we're going to open up the Autogen. Whoops. So I've got like 15 screens up. Okay. So this stuff I was playing with. Okay, so we're going to go to our full faction here. Right? So this is what we've exported. JSOC. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, it was RHS, not cup. Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's just a test anyway. All right, so we're going to copy that. All right. Autogen, paste, save, boom. Done. Okay, don't need that anymore. Uh, where'd it go? Test. Okay. Now we need to go into CFG patches. Boom. Okay, CFG patches, JSOC operator. Going to copy this. Boom. Paste, save, done. Okay. So, now we're going to go into where the hell Steam is. Okay. Arma 3 tools. So, it can be kind of hard to find. Uh, I, I knew I had it, but I couldn't figure out. A uh, little pro tip. Go up here. You can check uh, tools, and then it'll it'll pop up. And it's free. So, we're just going to launch that. Okay. We're going to launch the add-on builder. Boom. Oh, you know, I forgot to do, actually, there's our add-on builder. Okay, so we're going to take th these files, all four of them. So remember, we put our faction info in Autogen and the CFG patches export, we put in CFG patches. You don't have to do anything else. All right. So you can do this any way you want to. Do it my way, do it your own way. If you do it my way, you know at least it's theoretically going to work. Because I'm going to show you that it works. So we're going to make two folders in here. First is going to be called prepacked. Second is going to be called packed. So we're going to go into our prepacked. Paste. These are the files that came from the RAR, that came from the Alive Wiki. It's your template for packing PBOs. Right now we're going to go back to here. our Arma 3 add-on builder. And I think I should. So that's it's just in Arma 3 tools. Okay. So we're going to go to And you can use the file browser again it it doesn't matter. We're just going to go here to packed. Okay. That's all we're going to do. All right. Going to binarize. Pack. Build successful. We're off to a great start. Okay. Now we're going to go into our packed. Boom. There's our PBO. Isn't that great? Now, also important. Call this add on dot PBO. So we're going to take this file and we're going to go to so we're going to take this file add on PBO. Going to copy that. We're going to go to our Arma folder, right? Now, we're going to make a new folder, not in add-ons or anywhere else. In the master folder, uh, if you don't have Steam, uh, uh, I can't help you. That's, I, I mean, I assume it's just the same everywhere. But just do it in the, the root folder for Arma, not any of the subfolders. going to make a new folder. 
I'm just going to call it JSOC. Actually, we're going to call it at JSOC. Okay. Oops. Just going to make another folder in here. This is very important too. We're going to call this one add ons. Right? So you'll see some of the other ones I have, they all have add ons. Right? All right. Hit take our PBO. There it is right there. Now, if I did all that right, probably should have demoed this first to make sure that I wasn't a complete moron. Okay, so now, back in our, our Arma 3 loading screen, go up here to local mod. Here's our at JSOC. Double click on that. Boom, select folder. Was installed. Load mod. There it is. Fingers crossed. Here's hoping. Shouldn't take the seven hours it usually takes to initialize all the add ons since I only have a couple running. Not the not all of the three hundred and seventy eight that I have in my mod library here. We should have a contest to see who has the most Arma three mods active at any one time. Am I still Yeah I am. Okay. No, I'm good. Any day now. No rush. I'm hourly. Okay. Now we're going to go into our editor. Maybe. Maybe not. Did I break it already? Nope. We're good. Okay. So it loaded. So that's nice. Get into our VR testing arena. Perfect. So, ammo bearer, doesn't really matter. Whoever, wait, why am I doing that? I don't have to do that. Where's that? Uh, compositions, JSOC. Special Forces, JSOC group, which is just the one guy. There he is. Should be in objects too. Normal, playable, don't think it's broken. We'll just do a quadruple check to make sure I didn't royally screw anything up. Boom. It's that simple. Once you get the hang of it and you, you play with it a little bit, I mean, you can, I mean, you can create a, a full-fledged, fully equipped army with whatever gear, weapons you want, you can get it done inside of an hour. You know, if you're just doing a real small group like a, like this JSOC group, and you know, you can get get it done in ten or fifteen minutes. So that concludes Nah, that's rude. That concludes the video, my basic basic demo on how to Use a live's Orbitron, how to export it to factions, or how to export factions, how to pack the PBOs. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'm not going to ask to like and subscribe because I don't really do this for a job, but if you want to like and subscribe, that's cool too. Okay.